Hey, all right, so we're on the part two of Maestrieth in Hellbent talking through using objects and classes. Um, I haven't actually watched this one, so I'm going to be editing it right after I do this, but hopefully you find this interesting. Like I said, it, it's, you know, this was several years ago. I think it was 2017 when we recorded it, and uh, I just thought, hey, you know what? Let's make it available in case people want to check it out. So please like and subscribe and uh, comment on there so if you found it helpful. Um, I have two two or three more videos after this one of it's all part of the same session. So I hope it helps you uh, learn how to hotkey. Cheers or using the object as the reference back to the edit. As long as I can build, as long as I can just build, put a an array inside of the, the GUI in the construction. Uh-huh. So, all right, let me F1 colon colon. Let's say GUI control comma comma land two comma uh, new information return. So uh, let's see. So flan two should be. Well, no, no, no. You got it to run. So apparently it is working because when I try to run, like I never put the percent mark before the V. I always try. Like I tried. I tried it every way I could think of. I tried. I tried uh, flan dot two. I tried. Uh, I tried. Uh, V percent flan dot two. I tried, you know, I tried, I tried everything that I could think of except for putting the percent mark bef before the V. Yeah, give me just a second. Something is a mess here. Oh, dumbass. Forgot to create the object. There we go. Okay, so now we're saying GUI control flan two for the variable, so when I hit F1, it puts new information mm -hmm. into that variable. Okay, so, that, that's, that's awesome, because right now, like, all the control stuff I can do with pseudo arrays easily. All right. the, I can, right, but building the GUI with pseudo arrays is a lot harder, because I either have to have it inside of a loop, or I have to type out one, uh, edit one, edit two, edit three, edit four, edit five, and right. so on and so forth. I was driving me nuts. Okay. So, A index. All right. So now, when I hit F1, wait a minute. Oh, dumbass. Do, 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 do. That's got to be, that's got to be A. My bad. I'm an idiot. So, bang. There we go. So, using the object that I created, I mm -hmm. basically just updated the GUI using that object. So, but all this is doing is just basically saying flan2 is ver or my variable, so it's v my variable. Huh. What if you don't include the my variable part? On the end here? Yeah. It won't do anything. It's a, that's the location. So well, this is what, this is, uh, see if it's <laughs> v, uh, flan dot two doesn't equal anything. So it's just going to be, the variable is going to be blank when this edit is created. Yeah, that's, I'm usually okay with, like, usually I don't declare any of my variables when I put them into the GUI. Oh, okay. I usually use submit if it has any, like sometimes, yeah, some, sometimes they'll have a value, but usually they don't. Usually they go, when I build it, they don't, it doesn't matter. They can have garbage value and then, then they can be submitted afterwards. But what would come from the submit? If it's a checkbox, it'll have a value of one or zero or, or two, one, zero or two, minus one or, right? But, okay, GUI, submit, no high. If it's, if it's the edit, if it's the edit, I don't like to use I don't like to use the control ID because then I have to know its position, right? Like I don't like to have to use the built-in variables for the controls because then if I change the GUI around, I have to go back through all my code and change. Oh, like, button one, button two, button three. Exactly right. Right. Okay. So I always I just use my own variables even if if I don't need it if I'm going to be moving. Let Let's say if I create a button that's going to move. Right, I'm going to create a variable with it. I'm not going to use its built-in uh, ID. Okay. So, okay, I hit F1, new information one, new information two. 
Now let's, all right, the, if, if I'm understanding what you mean, see, I rearranged the edit, but since it's the second control that was created and I created it with this variable in mind, then it doesn't matter where it is. It, you know, it um, acted upon that particular control. But unfortunately, you still have to give it something to keep track of for Yes, 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 yes. But like I, this wouldn't change much. This wouldn't change much of uh, how I'd actually have to go through the and build the GUI. Like if I want to do it simple with a variable inside of its position, I would still have to put it inside of a loop, right? But I don't have to worry about uh, pseudo arrays anymore. Right. Right. Co okay, let's do this then. Let's. Uh, one, two. So <laughs> let's say Flynn. Uh, well, let's just do it in the just. Yeah, all right. So this variable is going to be. Um, Actually, this is how I build GUIs with objects. Okay, so GUI colon equals. All right, so first one, I want a button. That's going to be X50, Y50. Uh, and then let's just say, let's call the button uh, my button. And I would uh, a oops a b GUI. So I would say GUI. Well, first you gotta do. Eh, sorry. Uh, BJ colon equals or split b comma by commas then percent GUI add add. And this will be B dot one, C dot two, B dot three. So is this missing key? Oh yeah. Uh do that was dumb. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now do, 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 do. give me one second. Stir spit B by commas, yes. Uh, parameter two is invalid. B dot one. B dot one. One second. One second. Stir split. Oh, you asshole. Da, 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 da. J. J. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I got my button created from an object that I created. It's, oh, the X and Y is, what the hell? So, but you can also throw in variables here and then just build, uh, build up using button X 20, Y fifty. Oops, my other button. And of course, I put it right on top of itself. So there we go. And then just keep going down through like that. Yeah, I, just, I, 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 I different. don't see like this. That, that other example that you had before about building it, that was much more. Uh, like I could see that being something that I would get into. This this to just seems like I would just go with the traditional method. Right, well, right. I mean, to me, the, once you get the handle of this method, because you can easily add different GUIs, whatever you want, right? <clears throat> but if I'm, if I'm going to be typing out each control like that, then I might as well just do it the old-fashioned way and have it there, so that way it's easily, I can easily see everything. I don't have to worry about uh, if I have a parameter wrong somewhere in this place or that place. Right. I'm just not seeing the benefit to this. 
how is this helping oh you? okay let me let me see i was actually trying to uh see if i can come come up with a script where i'm using that kind of stuff afterwards so i'm trying to think where i would have had the most recent script that had the I'm sure this is a problem you have 10 times worse, but like I'm getting to the point where I just can't keep track of my scripts anymore. Yeah. I do file V for previous scripts and then I just start taking, start typing what it is that I've closed before and then it finds it for me. Okay. Or if it's already open, I just alt J and then Xbox that AHK, there's my Xbox. <laughs> I got I got a couple here that might demonstrate it. Yeah, I'd be interested to see how you're setting up the arrays and how you're changing them and how it makes it easier. Well, I'm not using an array. I'm using a pseudo array. Well, right, pseudo array, whatever. It's all the same. I mean, conceptually, it's all the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's not the right one. I'm getting closer. <laughs> what I don't like about pseudo arrays is you can't for loop over them. It drives me nuts. You can't what? You can't do a for loop. Um, you know what? I have I've barely used for loops. I'm used to for loops from C, and it's so much different. It seems so different that I, I just if I don't have to touch it, I don't touch it. Dude, they're amazing. I know, I, I know if I, for loop is, is C is for loops. That's, that's, that's all C is, is just for loop after for loop after for loop. Right. Okay. Okay. Here I got, I got something where uh, I'm using a. Go ahead and share it up. I stopped. Okay. So this, this isn't, uh, this isn't building the. This isn't building the GUI with it. This is using it afterwards. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here, um, what I'm doing is I'm animating a picture or a series of pictures, and I'm using the a pseudo array, mm -hmm. and frame is the position or the picture within that. Right. Okay? So I have I have a bunch of images. They're all named MMRP one, MMRP two, right? Uh huh. And then, as I go through it, I just change the frame using a pseudo array. Right. And then it ends up like that. Okay. So that's that's this is this is what using the pseudo array. Right. Does for me. Yeah. Right. Whereas if I did it another way, I would have to have. I would have to go through it each time and change this to uh, frame one, frame two, frame three. Do you okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, where's to the construction of the MMPR or MMRP? This is a picture, it's a PNG. Right, where's the construction of the pseudo array? The, I don't have one, I don't have one. I just put the image on the screen and then I use the, Oh, you're just incrementing. Yeah, so these are the Looking images. So here, these are MMFP, MMFP2, MMFP3, right? And okay. each image. Oh, I don't know what the heck I did there. You opened up the PNG. Oh, okay. I opened, I meant to open it up in, uh, uh, let me see. So if I go into here, uh, these are backgrounds. Let me see. Okay, so these are these are it's cycling through images. Uh huh. 
right? And I can just use its number. I can use the, the number of the, so this is, this is jump, uh, Mega Man jump phase one. Okay. And then I cycle through, as I go through the frames, it'll be Mega Man jump phase two. Uh-huh. And then I can just animate using pseudo arrays how to do it. And then this is it going through its running phase. Well, you're not using a pseudo array. You're using... Well, I am using a pseudo array because I'm replacing the, the position here with a variable. That That's... <laughs> that's just changing the variable's name. That's not creating... And a, yeah, and I understand what you're saying, Chad. Yeah, you're not creating an array. You're using... No, no, no. I'm not creating an array. I'm not creating an array. Right. I'm, creating, I'm creating the behavior of array where I can cycle through right. the different indexes of it uh-huh. so it's it's i'm getting the behavior of an array where i can cycle through it using i as a variable and then incrementing it mm-hmm. to change frames but it's not an array it's a it's a pseudo array yeah. okay right, so so chat's point is that, dude, just let him yeah. just let him go yeah He's, it's fine yeah. we all understand what you're saying yeah. a- a- am i am i mistaken on that yes you are very much so okay all you're doing is you're changing the name of the file name. There's not a variable or array or anything. You're just changing a file name with the frame yeah. number. Okay, what if what if it was Mega Man, Mega Man I? It's still not an it's still not a pseudo array because Mega Man isn't I think. you haven't you haven't created anything yet. For it. This, this is yeah. You're basically concatenating, you know, the new number. Yeah, you're concatenating, not creating. A, it, it's semantics, but the way you're using pseudo array in this instance is wrong. Just, I. Well, he, what he means is it's wrong to call it a pseudo array. Yeah, you're you're concatenating text. You're not creating no. a variable for which to then use that that's there's there's a difference you're dynamically updating the variable name to to go over the next one yeah. to go to the next file name but all that is is just a file name yes yes i i that one is not a yeah that's not a good example <laughs> But it is how he's using it, right? It's right. Just, that's how you're using it. That's yeah. how you would use a pseudo array if you built a pseudo array. Yeah. Yes. So Except I would hold a value in it. I yes, I know. I would hold a value in that. But <clears throat> like I said, if this wasn't if this wasn't a PNG, if this was actually a variable, uh-huh. right? And that I, would then be a pseudo array. Yes. Okay. If, Because I can't, I can't think of one right now off the top of my head, where, like, I use th- that exact thing, like I use with variables, though. So let me go. Okay, right here. Okay. So you're creating, still technically not a pseudo array, but you're cre- it, it, you're creating the variable association of edit one, edit two, edit yeah. three, or whatever with that variable. It's, but you're not. Uh, uh, can you okay can you show me an example then because to me this is like i'm getting what i want where i can cycle through different values right just like i do with an array where i store a a value into this variable right and then i can cycle through it using another accounting variable or an index sure so right but the way that you're using it there right now is you're concatenating edit with a number you're not creating a pseudo array because the edit with a number doesn't actually contain any text at the moment. But yeah, I guess technically, yeah, 
when you do the GUI submit, then it becomes a pseudo array. But until that's done, then it's not technically a pseudo array yet because it's not. Because <laughs> if you do, all right, if you do edit one, okay. edit two, edit okay. three. How about this? How about this? How about this? So mm -hmm. you're saying, are you saying that the difference between the two is if I did. So now it's a pseudo array? It is now. Before, when you're, it's semantics. When, when you create the GUI, you're telling it what variable that it could be or that it should return when you submit it. Okay, but see, if I was using another language, I would have to go through each of them, right? And I would have to say, so let's say for that example, it was my whatever. Um, I could just say, I mean, that's what I did right here. Uh, right? In a way, yes, but all right. When you build, all right, it, like I said, it's just semantics what I'm saying. Take it for what it is. Right now, if you do that mm -hmm. and you haven't done a GUI submit, then edit one doesn't equal anything, edit two doesn't equal anything. Yes, it does. It equals a null value. It equals garbage. It does uh, equal something, though, right? Uh, I guess. Okay. Fine. Like, I can test. I can test this variable if it has a, if it has a null value. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, though. Technically, you're fine. But I'm not trying. Look, I'm not trying to argue with you. No, I'm no, no. Why? Why it's not? Like I, I don't. I don't really like. I can. I can understand that we're talking about semantics here, but but yeah. why are those semantics important? They're not. They're not, and I'm probably wrong for saying it. So sorry. <sighs> well, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. If you can teach me something about it, like if I have a misunderstanding about it. Well, no, that's that's fine. I, this in in this instance, yes, this would be a pseudo array the other instance no because all you were doing was yes yes i was just cycling through yes right right okay just just so we're clear on that that's fine uh any particular reason or uh, well go back up for just a second are you changing i in this instance any i mean yes. uh, other than to increment it no so no, you're just going the one. Just the position in my pseudo array. Okay. So it's going to always be edit so one, edit using, two, edit three. If I was using a regular array, if I was using a regular array, it would just be that. Right. Um, well, the reason I'm saying this uh, within the loop, uh, where's the beginning of the loop? It's. Uh, this this is for the tab control, so it cycles through all the tabs. Okay. And then it comes in. These are the the columns. Oh, okay. So and it's the all, right, all right. All right. There is a reason for okay using an I. So you in the, uh, increment the I at the end of the. Or where are you increment? Oh, the I is increment right here. All of them increment right there. Okay. Yeah, and then depending on depending on what if the i equals forty one or if i equals n, it'll add in the check boxes. What is n? N is just a variable that's created as soon as it comes in. As soon as this becomes true, mm -hmm. it comes in here and says n equals i plus eighty. Because this is this is when I run this when I run this. Oh yeah, it makes all those. Oh, okay. There's 80 edit boxes per page. Yes, exactly. So, so the, the 40. So if I look here, if I look here, so so it built it built this edit box right here. Mm. So now it increments i i equals 41. I add in my check boxes. Mm -hmm. And then, then it goes go to, to the, the top. Then it takes i. Then it takes i and adds 80 to it. So when it goes to the next page, it's back here, right here. So it can actually go through them all. 
Um, quick question. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's okay. So it's a text or a, go back to the, the constructor, the GUI. I'm just kind of curious as to something. So you're adding text with a border. Okay, then an edit. Where's the... Ch um, I'm just trying to wrap my head around what... Uh, like this isn't supposed to necessarily be a practical thing. It's like no, this... No, 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 no. Like you could change some of the logic, right? Like where I have... Even if I have it here, this could be a different type of control that I'm testing. If a value is this, then I'll add in this type of control. I'll reset the different uh, X and Y location, right. right? This is just a... This is part of a tutorial to show that you can build a massive, a huge, massive GUI why without building like this conventional methods this would uh -huh. be 2700 lines oh sure yeah yeah right yeah that's that's definitely okay what's after the L, or what's after the else down there the line it just uh it see here i have to change the x to accommodate for it being a checkbox uh -huh. but in other words it's just going to use another different spacing for the edits okay so it goes from top to bottom edits. Well, um, uh, it's it's first a text. It's a text. Text, then an edit. Then an edit. And it does. <clears throat> 20 of those. 20 of those, yes. No, 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 40 of, is it, for, it's 40. Oh, okay. It's 40. So it does 20 per, 20 per column. Okay. It does two columns okay. and then in between. Then it adds a, a column. The checkbox. Okay. And then it adds two more columns of uh, text and edit. Uh, okay. Interesting. See, and here, here where I'm changing, where I'm changing the color. This doesn't have to be the color. This could be me adding another control in. Sure. This sure. could be adding a radio button in. Okay. Um, not that this makes any difference in the world, but just so you're aware, the line 23 M equals equals six. Um, Hold on, 23. Yeah. Yeah, M equals equals six. In that instance, you could just use one equal and it would still be. I, it's, 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 a, it's, I, I, am, I know that. I, okay. It, it's C, it's C pro, it's the C programming in me. That's fine. That's fine. Just so you're aware, it's just the equal. When I equals. when I do when I do tutorials, I do mention to people all the time that you don't <laughs> have to do equal or equal. Okay. Well, it's it is a thing though because I mean it'll yes, do. This is ch checking to see if it's case sensitive. Right. Okay. Good. Just yeah, I do know. I do. I am aware of that. Okay. Long as you're good. It's 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 habit, and I do I do tell people when I do it. Mm -hmm. I make sure that people know that that this is because. I like, this is how I learned how to do programming in C, so it's sort of old habits die hard. All right, one second here. I'm going to drop a link in, uh, in the chat here. Please bear with me. Uh, we'll do this live so that... Uh, Okay, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna let you have it. No, no, no. I want you to. I want to stay yeah. on your. Okay. I just can't figure out where the hell the chat is. <laughs> you know, take, all right. Let's just exit full screen. Well, while you figure out that, <clears throat> there it is. I'm gonna have a butt. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see. No. Did I? Did you do something? Oh. Yeah, I just pasted uh, a link to Studio. Sure. Oh my goodness, my head hurts. 